Hello, my name is Gabriel from Gabak USA. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to build your own network. So if you want to build your small network and you want to start uh, practicing, uh, like how to build a rack uh, and all those things, I'm going to teach you all those things. So first of all, you're going to need like a structure like this. So uh, this kind of rack, you have two. One one that is open, the other is closed. So the closed, you saw it already in the prior video. So this is the open one. This is very cheap. So if you want to buy something like that to start practicing in your home, that is great. So I'm going to show you, as you can see here on this side, you see this little screw here, here, here. So once you remove that and you remove this piece of metal and the one that you see here, it will be like almost collapsible so you can take it anywhere so that is the way when you buy it that is the way it, it comes and you can build it yourself so it's just maybe six eight screws and and that's it so that is very easy so um in case if you have a maybe very very small office maybe you and your wife and that's it i recommend you uh, maybe to buy one of these, but if you have a, someone that you don't know well, or like an employee or something like that, try to get a, a close rack. That way, if someone touches something or they steal something, uh, it will be harder if it's something that is enclosure. I mean, something is closed uh, with locked mechanism and everything, and nobody will touch anything. So. Uh, we are going to come back in a little bit after a few minutes when I start installing maybe here we have a cable organizer that we can uh, go to install over here somewhere. Here we have a patch panel and uh, we are going to CC uh, that. Uh, here we have a Cisco switch so if you want uh, you will see that as, as well. So that it will be the minimum. So if, if you want to play with this uh, and in your home or your office. And so let's wait a few minutes and uh, we'll be back. Okay, we are back now. Everything is in place. I'm going to show you a little bit how everything is connected. So as you can see here we have the patch panel and we have the organizer, the cable organizer, and here we have the switch as usual. So everything is in place. So if you're going to use the screws and everything else, make sure that here, as you can see, you have a, like an empty space. You don't have any hole here. So when you connect one of these, just make sure that the first hole will fit here and the last hole will fit here. And in the middle will be in the middle here where you have no hole or anything like that and everything will f will fit just fine. Here, as you can see here, uh, we have the organizer. It's the same thing. In this case, you have just like an empty <laughs> hole or anything like that. That is because this is a little bit shorter than the, re than the regular ones. Otherwise, it will be just one unit and it will uh, fit the both holes. I mean, it will occupy both holes and uh, and everything will be uh, fine. I mean, it is fine the way it is, but what I'm saying is if you have a, a, the regular model, that is how it, it will be. So you can see here we have the, um, the switch on the bottom and here we have a patch cover. So in this case, we are going to connect it in any. So this is a test, of course. And uh, once, let's say, here we have 24 ports and let's say you have 24 cables. So in order to make sure that everything looks neat, uh, you're going to put it here on in the middle, as you can see, and you're going to uh, drag it or you're going to pull it a little bit from here. So this is very important when you buy an organizer that it has these kind of holes. Sometimes there are some organizers that has a third hole, but if you want to, you can make a hole yourself. Otherwise, you, uh, uh, I mean, you can use it the way it is. Just make sure that everything will will look uh, neat. And I saw another one that they they don't have any hole at all. Those are the very bad ones. You're going to find that some of them are plastic, like in this case, and some of them are 
metal. So it is a preference depend on what you can find. So once everything is in place, you can insert, I mean, you can put this and that's it. And that, that, that is how it go, it's going to look. It's going to look very nice, as you can see. Um, and that's it. So I'm going to change the camera so you can see a little bit um, in, the upper, uh, in the upper side. Okay, as you can see here, we have the, the cable. So if you have 24 ports, you're going to have a lot of cables. Try to organize it the best way you can. Here you're going to have the other cables that are coming out from the patch panel. And that's it. Basically, that is all you're going to find in this class or in this kind of cases. So like I said, this is for uh, your home, maybe your uh, small office or something like that. I mean, if you want to practice, this is the best way to practice. You can have it on top of your desk and everything will look nice and neat. Um, if you have a nice environment, maybe uh, an office with a lot of people, use a closed um, rack and that will be more secure for everyone and nobody will steal anything. So that is one of, of the of the things. Also, if you want, you can see all my other all my other video about the huge rack that I bought, uh, soundproof. That that is very good. So that way you won't hear any noise. So I hope you, uh, this video was uh, helpful for you. Remember, click on like, subscribe, and see you next time. Bye.